Ladies and gentlemen, looks like the show's about to start. Oh, the show, yeah. Earlier this month, the city's legendary superhero, Altman, hung up his cape for the last time, leaving us with very little protection against the evils of this world. Today, we have a solution to that problem. On behalf of Electrobit Industries, I proudly present to you the world's very first robot police force, the Blue Droids. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, it's like a party. Hello everyone, this is Markles, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing to life a new story. This is from the Episodes app, and um, it's called Glitch Girl. Um, so from what I read about it, there is a villain who's taking over, and we are the only ones who can stop him. It's up to us. And can we hold on to love in the process? Find out. Okay. <laughs> So, um, it looks like a lot of fun. I have so much fun with stories like this, so, um, just by looking at it, I knew I would enjoy it. So I really hope that this is one that you guys have wanted to see. I'll put a link in the description to the author's Instagram and to the app, too, just in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, yeah, I asked, and Joseph Grace of graciously, um, said that I could record this and that he wants to see, so that makes me really excited. So, I mean, um, just to let you guys know, too, I am very much considering doing, uh, starting to do reactions, like, with my face and showing myself on camera. Um, I, I, it's not that I didn't want to, I just don't have the equipment right now. Um, I don't want to use my phone, <laughs> but, um, you know... It's coming, and it's, it will happen, um, so if you guys haven't liked or subscribed to any of my videos and you're new here, and you potentially want to meet me and, you know, see my face, uh, maybe think about liking and joining the channel by subscribing. That'd be awesome. Okay, everyone, um, I might set a goal. That'd be awesome, too, because then um, if I reach that goal, then I'll definitely be getting the camera for sure, but I am still looking into it for sure. Okay, everyone, without further ado, sorry for that spiel. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. Your father worked here for 32 years. Can't you believe that, Grace? He would have loved to have been part of a lunch as big as this. Lunch. <clears throat> Grace, are you listening? Would you like to customize her appearance? She does look great. But I kind of want her to look like my normal girl. Okay, so this is what she's going to look like. I really like it. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. I just... Oh, there's a cutie over there. It's okay, darling. He's pretty cute if I do say so myself. He'd never be interested in me. My beautiful granddaughter. Honey, he can't take his eyes off you. Oh. Why don't you go over there and say hi? Isn't it more of a guy's thing to do that? Do you think I was going to wait around for your grandpa to ask me out? Honey, I'd still be waiting today. Go on, I'll be your wing woman if you need me. You're like the coolest grandma ever. Let's customize him, why not? Okay, just little changes, but I like it. Okay, here we go. It's such a shame. We're going to be in the back row. We'll barely be able to see anything from there. You know how these things work, Corey. There are some pretty important people here. They'll be the ones with the front row seats. I've actually got a spare ticket in my pocket. I could invite him to the front row. Hey, um, I couldn't help overhearing. I've actually got a spare ticket for the front row if you want it. It's you. Um, who am I to him? You know? It'll just be at the end of the row, okay? I'm Corey, by the way. I'm Grace. What should I ask him? You're super cute. Do you have a girlfriend? How old are you? Sure. How old are you? I'm 17. Snap! And you know the craziest thing about it? I'm going to be an uncle any day now. An uncle at 17. 
My sister really wanted to be here today, but she has to stay at home and take it easy. Wow, uh, what does it feel like? It's kind of weird, but at the same time, so cool, you know? So, are there any guys in your life at the moment? Ladies and gentlemen, looks like the show's about to start. Oh, the show, yeah. Earlier this month, the city's legendary superhero, Altman, hung up his cape for the last time, leaving us with very little protection against the evils of this world. Today, we have a solution to that problem. On behalf of Electrobit Industries, I proudly present to you the world's very first robot police force, the Blue Droids. Ooh. Oh, damn. They're faceless. They look really cool, though. Grace, did you see that? Yeah, that's the mayor's wig nearly slid off. <laughs> no, some creepy looking person behind in a hood just came up and stuck behind the curtain. Are you sure it wasn't one of the technicians? No, the technicians are all wearing uniforms. Whoever this was, it looked like they were up to something. Corey! We have to go. Your sister's gone into labor. Quick! You'd better run! I'll add you to message app. Okay, yeah! Wait, he doesn't know my last name! And he didn't give me his! Call after him, yeah. Hey, I didn't get your... He's gone. I'll see if he's on face look. Yeah, but you don't know his name. Oh, face look? Nope, he's not here. I will now hand it over to Electrobit, who will take you through there. Oh. Mr. Mayor, sir, you have to leave the stage at once. It's an emergency. Oh. Okay, well, just a dip. What's going on? Grace, there's a bomb. Whoa, <laughs> I can run. Get down. Oh my God, run. Don't get down. Oh no, is grandma gonna die? <gasps> oh my God. That was the first episode? Oh my God. Okay, well. Oh no, that was just like the intro. Okay, I was like, damn. How do we, we need to know what's gonna happen? Oh, she's got her uniform on. You were daydreaming about Corey again, weren't you? Um, <laughs> yes I was. Oh, come on, Grace. It's been two years since the explosion. How can you still be hung up on a guy you only spoke to for like 15 minutes? I don't know, but I am, okay? One day, he's gonna walk into this bar and sweep me off my feet. And we're gonna drive off into the sunset together. If Corey ever walks in here and sweeps you off your feet, I will chop off a clump of my own hair and eat it. You should really forget about him and start dating other guys. Harper, you know I haven't got time to date. My grandma can't look after herself anymore. She needs my full attention. I know you love your grandma, but you have to think of yourself sometimes, Grace. Please tell me we've had at least one customer in here for lunch. Oh, it's some witch. Oh. <sighs> I found a cockroach eating the roast beef. Does that count? Ugh, God. <laughs> what happened to this place, girls? As soon as I say Yonos to anyone, it's... Yonos, the place where that guy was murdered. I just wish someone would say Yonos, the place that serves the best cocktails in town. Just someone! Oh. <laughs> He's gonna have a breakdown soon. I really can't afford to lose my job. Wait, I think there's someone at the door. Are you joking? No, I swear, someone's coming in. <gasps> Who's that? 
He looks like a guy from the kiss list. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to eat my hair, aren't I? <laughs> no, that's not him. I actually... Oh, I am actually gonna have to eat it. <laughs> no, this isn't Corey. Customize him. It's Seth. Oh my god. You know what? Seth can stay the same. No, we should customize Corey? <laughs> Who's Corey? Um... Uh, nobody. He's a guy she met for 15 minutes two years ago and hasn't stopped thinking about him ever since. Harper! That makes me sound like a total psycho. No, I get it. Sometimes when you meet someone, you just know. Exactly. Anyway, we're being very rude. What can I get you? I'll have an Americano, please. Coming right up. So, this guy, Corey, has he gotten in touch with you? Um, we didn't get each other's numbers or last names. Maybe Facebook? Oh, believe me, she searched on Facebook. <laughs> when she can get it to work anyway. <laughs> no, I think I'm just jinxed. App always crashes when I use them. Well, I have to say, I think this Cory guy is a bit of a douche. I mean, who'd meet an amazing girl like you and not get her number? Exactly. I'm certainly not going to make that mistake. Oh, are you asking for my number? Oh, and maybe a drink with you this evening? Oh, um, I don't know about that. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to go home and look after my grandma when my shift ends at six. Ah. Uh, look, I'm sorry, what's your name? Seth. Sex... Oh, Seth Foxwell, sorry. I'm sorry, Seth. My grandma relies on me, and I... Grace, I'm sure you could pop home to check on your grandma when you finish work, and then go for a drink afterwards. I... I guess I could... Cool. Does seven sound work good for you? Um, I guess that gives me enough time. Yeah. So, do I get to know the name of the most beautiful girl I'm having a drink with this evening? Oh, I'm Grace. <laughs> Grace Griffin. So, Grace Griffin, can you recommend anywhere for drinks? Where should we go? Huh. You could really do with the business, but nobody's here. <laughs> There's a new bar that just opened up down the street. We could try it. There's a new bar that just opened down the street. It's called On the Rocks. Then I'll meet you there at 7. Ooh. You guys, I'm like really hungry. My stomach hurts. Sorry. 6 p.m. Okay. Ooh, do we live in like a penthouse or something? I don't really care for that outfit though, but I wish they asked me. I would have bought one. Oh, wait, you don't buy outfits in these. That's right. Hey, Grandma! I've got your favorite supper! Oh, she's not even talking. You'll never guess what happened today! I got asked out on a date! I'm so excited! And his name is Seth Foxwell. I think you'd like him. Is the TV flickering again? I'll get someone out to fix the electric in this place soon, okay? Anyway, I'm meeting Seth at 7. You'll be alright here for like an hour or so, won't you? Grandma? Okay, I'd better hurry and get changed then. Okay, now we're changing. I think I'm gonna try on that gorgeous red dress I've been keeping in my wardrobe. If there's ever an occasion to get it out, this is it. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Love it. Ooh, we get to buy it. I love it. This will really impress him. He's gonna love this on me. Oh. I love that necklace, too. So nice. <gasps> There's Sethian. I have to say, you look absolutely stunning in that dress. It sure beats my work uniform, doesn't it? <laughs> you can say that again. So, uh, tell me about you, Grace. Well, uh, 
I live a pretty simple life. Just working and looking after my grandma. I get the feeling there's more to you than just working and looking after your grandma. Oh, I was in an explosion two years ago. I don't want to tell my life donuts. An explosion? Have you heard of the Electrobite Blue Droid launch? Oh man, you were there? Yeah. You're lucky to have escaped with your life. That thing was nasty, huh? Yeah. What was supposed to be a fun evening turned into a nightmare from hell. My grandma pushed me to safety, but she wasn't able to shield herself. The blast must have knocked her brain loose. Jeez. She doesn't speak anymore. Hasn't said a single word. That's pretty messed up. You know what? I don't want to remind you of that terrible night. Let's change the subject. You're right. Maybe I should ask him a question. What do you look for in a girl? Oh. You know, a lot of guys would say that they look for someone who's their physical type. But I think the most important thing for me is that she has to have a good moral compass. It just really turns me off when a girl is nasty to someone they think is beneath them. Oh, I, I completely agree with you. I almost said the other one. No one has a right to treat someone else badly because they have a higher status than them. I like the way you think, Grace. I like a lot of things about you. Uh, sorry, am I being too forward? I'm known to be a little bit socially awkward. I spend a bit too much time alone with my inventions. Inventions? Yeah, I'm a bit of an inventor. I like to play around with gadgets, take them apart, make them new things. I'm hoping to build something one day that will really help me clean up this city. Like a road sweep? No, I mean clean up the crooks. Oh wow, like a superhero. Is that really lame? No, it's awesome! <laughs> I mean, with Ultiman retired and the blue droids defunct, New York, New York really could do with a new superhero right now. Like, definitely. Are you working on anything at the moment that could help the city? I've got a few things in the work. Oh, what's the matter? Sorry, Grace, the TV on the wall behind you is really acting strange. He's been looking at the TV. On our date. Oh! Citizens of New York, my name is Zero, and I have intercepted this broadcast to give you a message. For far too long, you have celebrated celebrity, wealth, and status. You have infiltrated the egos of those at the top, inflated, and crushed those at the bottom. But you are about to pay. If you see zeros where there shouldn't be zeros, you will know that zero is coming for you. Oh, what on earth was that? That teenage hacker must be laughing his head off right now. You don't think that was a real threat, do you? Um, I'm a bit scared though. At the blue droid launch, Corey saw something in a hood sneak behind the curtain. That was where the bomb was planted. Seth, I think this is the same person who caused the explosion two years ago. Grace, hoodies are quite common. I doubt this is the same guy. Yeah, you're right. But what did it, it, he mean when he said if you see zeros where there shouldn't be zeros? I honestly wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, I'm really sorry. I only know it seems like we've just got here, but... I have to start heading back. I told my grandma I wouldn't be long. Of course, yeah. Maybe I could show you some more of my inventions one day. Yeah, I'd love that. Awesome. I'll give you a call sometime. <laughs> and hopefully we got his number. Oh, it's grandma. Grandma, I think he likes me. He wants to go on another date. Isn't that exciting? Grandma. The TV. I wish I knew how to make you happy again, Grandma. You know what? Celebs Go Dancing comes on at half past eight. Let's watch it together. It'll be like old times. 
<laughs> what time is it now? Oh. It's 1.07. Oh, sorry, midnight. <laughs> Seven past midnight. I know I enjoyed myself on the date, but I wasn't that long. It's definitely only half eight, I'm sure of it. <gasps> Wait, what? Six minutes past midnight. What on earth is going on? Wait, what? It's counting backwards. Oh God. <gasps> Sit a bomb, throw it, girl. Oh! Oh no. <gasps> To be continued. Well, it's a lot of fun so far, you guys. I'm really enjoying it. If you are too, please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't, if you're new here. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, definitely be sure to check out James Evans, his Instagram. I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the description too. Um, but also it was shown in the video if you guys want to check it out. He's very nice and he does a lot of posts on his Instagram if you want to check those out. Um, and he also has a lot of stories on the go in, in the app. I've read quite a few of them and I just love them. Uh, he's great. So I'm excited about this. Um, this is a really good story and I'm so excited to do the complete story. So I hope you guys are all looking forward to it. So yeah, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't and that'd be awesome. Okay, everyone, if you didn't have a good day, I really hope my video cheered you up. Okay, have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!